the Golan Heights. This is uh, our pastures. On the left side, we can see the Syria. In the right side, Jordan. And the Yarmouk River that goes all the way to the Jordan uh, River. This is a family farm. In my farm, uh, we grow uh, cattle cows for meat, cemental cows, and uh, we have uh, olive tree. And we produce uh, olive oil. We sell it uh, all over the, the country. In Israel, we have very, very good uh, professional farmers and uh, very, very good uh, agriculture. Before five years, we decided uh, to not just to, to be a farmer and uh, to uh, sell all what we grow and to produce from the land and uh, to get to the market. We decide to make uh, another move and we open a butcher shop. We grow uh, our calves. We give the, the younger uh, calves uh, the, and the older calves the best condition uh, when they, they're alive. Good food, uh, good uh, vet, uh, veterinary solution. We make farming uh, in, uh, from our soul because we will not take money from agriculture. It's very hard uh, work. And uh, sometimes we don't have the rain and we need to give the, 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 the tree uh, more water, we are good. And we try to learn from everybody. So this is our olive tree. We have three different kinds of uh, trees. Mm -hmm. The origin of them is from uh, Greece and from Spain. What's special uh, in that tree is that they are fit to mechanical harvest. So that's the way the fruit, the olive, goes really quick from the tree to the factory. Olive gonna grow from this uh, nice blossom. This year we gonna, it seems that we're gonna have a lot of fruit and we are very happy with that. So uh, let me show you a little bit uh, about uh, the different cuts we have here in our uh, butcher shop. We have uh, mainly uh, beef and lamb from lamb chops, lamb shoulder, uh, lamb spare ribs, uh, the neck of the lamb. Over here we got all the meat cuts which is the main thing we do here. Shoulder roast, uh, the main shoulder, the ribeye cover which uh, goes mainly for smokers. Uh, we got all the steak cuts, the different uh, cuts that goes for the grill. If it's the uh, chuck eye, the beautiful ribeye you see here uh, right in front of you. And also other small uh, cuts that are less well known uh, that we specialize in. Okay, now let me show you our uh, dry age fridge. So this is a special fridge uh, where we dry age our ribeye on the bone. Uh, we take our premium cuts of ribeye and we'll age them here uh, from uh, two weeks to uh, up to uh, a month and a half. That will soften the meat, that will uh, intensify the flavor of the meat. Uh, over here we've got our product freezer. Uh, we do all different kinds of product, obviously from our fresh meat, the chorizo and the melges, which is a traditional Moroccan uh, sausage. The different frozen cuts, if it's the lamb steak, uh, ribeye that's already been frozen, something we're going to be trying later, uh, which has to be uh, uh, sold frozen, which is the uh, short ribs sliced very thinly. And this is just, you know, where we keep our meat. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna be uh, testing some of our uh, sausages. I've got two uh, nice sausages we prepared today. Uh, this is the uh, chorizo. And over here, we told you before, you're gonna be tasting the uh, thinly sliced um, short ribs that we're gonna grill. And here in the smoker, um, I've prepared for you two more cuts of meat. We've got a beautiful uh, brisket, smoked, Long, long, nice long smoke and a nice cut of uh, ribeye uh, that's been smoking here for about two hours now. Before we start with the meat, I want to grill some uh, vegetables. We're going to make a nice salad to go along with the meat because only meat is a little too heavy. Obviously using uh, the olive oil from the Ankava. This is the Kornaiki. Just slightly oil the tomatoes. Just a pinch of salt and pepper. 
and they go straight on the grill. We start always with the uh, open side down. Uh, grill and tomatoes give them a nice caramelized flavor. We're gonna start by uh, putting the chorizo. It's a thicker sausage on the grill, just like that in one big batch. And we wanna grill the uh, sausages um, on a medium to low heat. We don't want them to go on a too high heat. We don't want them to explode. And the next thing we're gonna throw on the grill is our nice little stripes of the short ribs. So all we season it with is a little bit of salt and pepper. It only takes like half a minute on each side. So while we were cooking the meat, uh, we grilled some nice vegetables here. And we're gonna make a nice grilled vegetable salad to go next to our meat. So we got eggplants, we got yellow uh, peppers, we got onions. Green chili pepper. Again with these beautiful yellow peppers. Squeeze them out of the peel. They were smoked with the meat for quite a long time. They're soft and sweet. Again with the garlic cloves. We're just gonna squeeze the garlic straight out of the peel. So beautiful, nice and soft. Nice and fresh. To finish up our salad, all we need to do is do a rough chop of all our vegetables, peppers, our lovely onions. Now the chili we want to chop a bit finer because we don't want to come across big chunks of it. And of course the eggplant. Our real tomatoes. So we got all our vegetables in with a nice lemon we pick. Just gonna squeeze it in. Of course, uncover the olive oil. We mix it all together. Let this lemon juice sink into the vegetables. Olive oil. And just a dash of black pepper. Take this beautiful piece of ribeye out, lay it on the board, slices, and look inside, look how moist it is. Hi. 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 <laughs> hey, I'm Israel. <laughs> I'm Israel. <laughs>